Hey everyone, it's Jackie here. And today we're back with another video to explain and reply to a comment on my Go High Level Calendars video. If someone commented with this question, I'm sure many of you guys also have the same question. And today's question is this. Hi, why can't let the system, I think she means, why can't the system let me set the minimum schedule notice by the custom dates? If I set these versions, I'll also need, I'll also that the customer cannot appoint five minutes before the event. So that's nonsense. If I can't set the dates, thanks. Okay, so I think what she's trying to say is why doesn't the system let them set a minimum schedule notice by custom dates or how many days in advance that she wants. And yes, you can actually do this in Go High Level and it's super easy. Let me show you how. So we're in Go High Level, now in my sub account of Sky Social and I've simply just pressed calendars. After you press calendars, you wanna go into calendar settings and in here, you can go and select whichever calendar you have currently. Now you can select a current calendar or you can go create a new one. Now let's just go create a new one. Now in my complete calendars tutorial, I do go in depth on explaining what each of these different scheduling types are. But a quick breakdown of this is a service calendar is essentially if you want it for services. So let's say physio services where you're actually selling your services to other people. A simple calendar, I would use this for like a meeting between my clients or me and my staff. Round Robin is more used for a big team for people that need to take a lot of calls. And how it works is essentially if a client comes and contacts our business, they want to book a calendar at 9 a.m. And if let's say my staff A is not available at 9 a.m., then it's going to go check staff B and see if they have that availability. Then if not, it's going to keep looping down to staff D, E, F, G. You guys get the point until there's a 9 a.m. slot. If there's none, it'll just display as none. Class booking is kind of similar to a service calendar where they can directly choose who they want to book with. And a collective booking is more of an in-house thing where you have a meeting with you and multiple people. Hope that made sense. But let's keep going. And we're going to just use a simple service calendar. Now in here, you're going to go, I'll go test service. Okay. Add myself. Now, if you're new to go high level, you probably don't have yourself as a staff member. You need to go and add yourself as a staff member in the settings. And I'll show that at the end of this video as well. Custom widgets, we won't worry about that. Service duration, you have all these to choose from. We're just going to do this and oh, I need a slug. So let's just go test service. Okay. There we go. Now you can press advanced settings and in the advanced settings, you want to click this availability. Now from the availability, you'll be able to choose where your minimum scheduling notice is as per Dora's question. So this is where I want to put, let's say one day minimum scheduling notice so that if today's Monday at 5 PM, no one can book with me in the next 24 hours. Right. You can also choose the date range of how far ahead you want people to actually book in advance. You can do days, you can do weeks, you can do months, same as minimum scheduling notice. All right. Then you click save. Now, if you're not creating a new calendar and you just want to do something from an existing calendar that you've already created, simply go back to calendars, go calendar settings. And once you're in calendar settings, just click the three dots here, click edit. And it takes us to that page where we had before. Okay. Now, lastly, as I promised, I'm going to show you how to add my staff to, as a user to your calendars, go, we're already in settings of go high level, but if you don't know how to get to this page, this is our sub account page Move my head across, go to the bottom left and click settings, then go my staff, and then you're going to add an employee. So you go there, chuck in your first name, last name, email, and just go to the bottom and click save. Okay. Simple enough. Now, if you are new to go high level or you've been using it for a while, but actually haven't started making money off it there is no reason you shouldn't because Go Hello is such a powerful tool that literally I think every business in this world needs it. It doesn't matter whether you're a barber, whether you're a physio clinic, whether you're a dental clinic, if you're an online business agency, all of these different businesses would actually benefit a lot from Go High Level. Now, I'm not saying you have to use all the features of Go High Level. Even if you sell a few of these features, you can actually make so much money and it's actually ridiculously easy. Now, I do have a free resource for anyone that is interested in claiming this. You can find those resources down in the link below, but this is just some of the people that's joined the group, had these free resources. They didn't pay me a single thing. And this guy is saying he's making $10,000 a month now. I have another client that says, yeah, he signed his first, <clears throat> he signed his first client two days ago. And even this one that managed to get a barbershop guy to pay him $1,000. So this can be you today. If you want to just go down, click the link below, sign up and follow from there. Now, if this video has helped you, please consider giving a like and thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like mine. Imagine this as a gentleman's agreement where I give you a free flowing buffet of content for the price of zero dollars 
and all you need to do is just hit that subscribe button for me. It helps me out a lot and it gives me the motivation to keep making these videos. All right, that's it from me. I hope this has helped you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.